In previous video we integrated PyTorch in Android Studio and performed image classification on camera stream. For getting camera frames we used Android X Camera API, there is another way to do that, that is going through OpenCV. So in this video I will show how to use OpenCV along with PyTorch in Android app. Instead of using Android X Camera API for getting image frames, we will get camera frames using OpenCV and convert the CV mat to Torch Tensor. In this way one can use OpenCV functionalities along with PyTorch when necessary. As I will build on top of previous video please watch it before continuing to this one. This is the Android Studio project from last video. We first need to import OpenCV SDK into the project, I have already made a video on how to integrate OpenCV with Android Studio, although I will briefly go through the process here but watch the video for better understanding. Download the OpenCV Android SDK. Unzip it. We need to provide path of this SDK folder. Inside the Android Studio. Go to File, Import Module, and set the path to the SDK folder as previously mentioned. Rename the module and click on Finish. Remove the Kotlin plugin and set the proper SDK version. Click on Try again, this will try to import the SDK once again, if no errors persists then the SDK will be properly loaded. Go to File, New, and then New Module. Here select Phone and Tablet, and change the name accordingly. Click on Next and select Empty Activity, click on Next once again. Name the main activity class and layout name, then click on Finish. This will create all files required for new app. Now go to File, Project Structure, Dependencies. Here select the app and add the module dependency, the OpenCV SDK as type implementation and click on Apply. Inside the build.gradle of the newly created app, inside Android set build features, view bindings to true. Also set the packaging options to pick first found the .so libraries, this is done to ensure that no conflicting libraries of same path exist. Then add the dependencies for Torch and Torch Vision. Now open the Android manifest of previous app and copy the camera permissions into the Android manifest of new one. Go to the Android layout, as OpenCV will be used for camera frames, add a OpenCV Java camera view, covering the whole screen, and set the ID, which will be used to reference the same in code. Enable the option to show the FPS. Also set the proper layout constraint as constraint layout is being used. For the text view just copy the text view definition from previous app.
Now go to Activity Torch CV, extend it to Camera Activity. Define a string variable for log cat. Create a variable to hold camera view. Now add a base loader callback, which on successful initialization of OpenCV, will enable camera view. Inside on Manager Connected, check whether connection is success then enable the camera view. Now create a variable for text view and gets its reference from layout inside on create. Initialize the OpenCV camera view, referencing the OpenCV surface view from layout. Set the visibility for the same. Create a CV camera view listener, which will listen to open CV camera view. The on camera frame method will be called every time a new camera frame is available. Return the input frame as type RGBA, which will be displayed on screen. Set the view listener for open CV camera view, passing the previously created CV camera view listener. Add the method to get all camera views for open CV. Add onResume method which will check if OpenCV is initialized, if not initialize it or else pass success to the base loader callback.
the on-destroy method which will disable the camera view when the app is closed. And similarly the on pause method which will disable the camera view when app is paused. Now run the app. In the screen the camera feed received through OpenCV is shown. Then create an assets folder and add your model.ptl file along with image net classes, as discussed in previous video, here. Create a variable to hold the PyTorch module. Also create a list of string to store the classes. Now create a method load classes that takes path of classes file in assets and output the classes stored in it as a list of strings, this can be copied from previous app. Then call the load classes method from on create. Similarly, create a method to load the PyTorch module which takes name of the file as input and checks if the model file exists, if not then copy the same to specified location from assets, and finally load it using light module loader, which also can be copied from previous app. Call the same from on create passing the model file name as input. Inside on camera frame method, first create a CV mat to get the camera RGBA frame and return the same. Then create a method, of type bitmap, to convert OpenCV mat to bitmap, which takes input as the OpenCV mat, and the width and height of final bitmap. Inside it first create an empty bitmap and CV mat. Resize the CV mat to required size using improc.resize. Initialize the previously created bitmap based on the updated CV mat, of type ARGB. And use utils.mat to bitmap for conversion.
finally return the updated bitmap. Back to on-camera frame method, pass the input RGBA frame to convert it into bitmap of specific size. The size is same as the one used in last video, on which the pre-trained model is based on. Now this bitmap can be converted into torch tensor using tensor image utils .bitmap to float 32 tensor. Passing standard mean and standard deviation for normalization. Pass the input tensor to forward of loaded PyTorch module getting the result in output tensor. Convert the output tensor to float array which is essentially the scores of 1000 classes on which ImageNet is trained on. From all scores select the class index with maximum score. This should be your detected class. Get the class label from classes list with max scores index. Output the same as Android log. And inside the UI thread set the text of text view to the class label. Now run the app. In the screen shown is the camera view and the detected label for the same. Now if shown image of owl, it detects and shows the corresponding class label. Same for this image of fox and ambulance.